gentlemen my name is Akram and I am a graphic designer from today I am going to start a brand new logo making series in this series I am showing you my logo making process step by step so without wasting any time let's get started first of all make sure before you start you have to clear understand the design brief which you will get from your client in this brief your client will tell you all the necessary details because you need to confirm what your logo is going to represent from the design brief hence if you think you need more details then don't hesitate to ask a question from your client it's a bakery type logo design the logo will be used in the bakery and the company name is Pasty Revival the company has a slogan which is handcrafted bakery delights their targeted audience is anyone who loves high quality dessert handcrafted for special orders the logo should be sophisticated luxuries and simple the client gave me some of his favorite color and sample image Step 2 Mind Mapping It's a very useful technique to think creatively to break down a logo brief and it can help you to make new ideas and connection in different ways. This is useful when you have problem to solve. After completing the design brief and mind mapping, the next step creating mood. You have to a mood board. Uh, you have to create a mood board. It will help you with how you design feel. One of the most popular places for creating mood board is Pinterest.com. When you satisfy your target audience keyword and mood board, it's time to sketching. next step sketching start sketching what you have in your mind and you don't have to be a great at drawing for this sketch just sketch on paper what you have visualized Uh, for this step I am using this website is colorhunt.com because according to me this website will help you to choose a nice color for your design moreover the website is very easy to use. Once you finish your color selection and sketch, it's time to vectorize it. There are many types of software are available for vector design. Nevertheless, for this work, I'm using Adobe Illustrator, which is one of the most powerful common software for vector design. I'm taking a photo of a sketch and dragging it into the software. Then I have to reduce some opacity so I can trace easily. and let me know in the comment box if you enjoy and like this video don't forget to do like and tell me your opinion in the comment box which is very valuable for me do subscribe now and turn on the notification bell icon to get more videos like this thank you very much